Hello, everyone. Eventually, we are at the final lab, lab eight. Uh, so far, we have been doing all the uh, simulation and experiments using discrete components, right? And they're bulky, they're troublesome. Particularly, you, you remember when you do the differential amplifier or the common source amplifier circuit for the speaker to drive the speaker, uh, you actually ran into a lot of problem and you need to fix it. Now in this lab, we are going to do integrated circuit layout and testing. So what's the purpose of this lab? First of all, in the industry, we usually use the Linux system instead of Windows to do the circuit design. So we are going to use Cadence, uh, which has a tooth cost better. It allows us to design a circuit in schematic, and then we can convert it into the layout and in principle, we can send out for fabrication. And this is what we are going to do. First, we are going to use a generic PDK. So this is a, not a real process development kit. Each PDK corresponds to the fabrication flow in a foundry. For example, TSMC, Global Foundries, uh, Samsung or Intel. They will provide us this PDK to design the circuit we want. So after we finish the um, uh, the design, we will send out the so-called layout or we say we tape out the chip to them and then they will fabricate it, right? Usually it takes a few months and then they will send us back. Now in our case, because we cannot use the um, real PDK due to some uh, uh, confidential agreement, so we are using a generic PDK which is 45 nanometer technology no, from Cadence. Right, so you will practice how to design a common source amplifier, how to do the layout. And at the same time, we already tape out a chip to TSMC 65 nanometer technology. They are not the same, but pretty similar, right? And we already have the chip we taped out earlier this year. We received them already. The second part of the lab is that you will learn how to probe the chip and to do some transient AC measurement to, DC, to see the gain. Okay, so the uh, first part is to uh, learn how to access the uh, Linux system, right? So first of all, make sure that you connect it to the VPN. Uh, you, if you're in, in the school, uh, you might not need to do that. Just uh, try, okay? Now, uh, once you connect it to the school VPN, you will start the remote desktop, like what I'm doing, right? And then you will go to one of these machines either from CAT46 to CAT50, choose one of them, okay? Now, I do want to say something. Sometimes when you connect, it might give you some problems saying that uh, the displays doesn't work. Then you need to go to here and go to display. I just click the uh, show option, right? And then you go to display. Now, I choose 24 bits. It works for my computer uh, and also this resolution. You might need to play with that, but usually you don't have to. Now, after I click Connect, then you will ask me for my username and password. So type your student ID and the password, which is just your school uh, emails, uh, ID and password. So after I click OK, then you may see this screen or you may not see see this screen if I because I logged in before so that's why I see this screen. Uh, note that I already changed the actually I'm using another machine not the machine that you are going to use so you will see different IP. Now so if this see this screen you just press the space bar and then type the password again. Like what I'm doing here. Now, I already uh, opened the terminal, but for you, you might not have this terminal. If you don't have this terminal, you right click and then say open terminal. Then you will bring up a terminal for you. Okay, now then we will start the exercise. Uh, I also forgot what I need to type. So I, I need to look at the uh, menu, right? So the first thing I need to do is to copy a file called 
uh, S45. So first of all, in Linux, right, you will usually work in the command mode. You also have this GUI mode, but command mode make it more automatic and also make it very um, flexible. You can write a lot of script to auto automate the job, right? So the first command you learn uh, or you want to learn is to look at what is inside your directory. You use ls, type ls and then enter. Right? Then you will list all the files you have. But I don't have any file here. Uh, that is fine. Right? And then you also can type pwd path, which is going to show you where you are. Because in every much, uh, in your folder, uh, I mean in your account, it's under a certain folder. We call it folder. Right? And you can create a new folder. You can have file. And you might want to go to other folder. For example, you use cd to go into another folder cd means change directory now if i say cd dot dot i have a space make sure that i have a space here dot means that you want to stay it you just go to the current directory so if i do that you say there's no change right but for example what if i make a directory i want to create a directory i say mkdir make directory mkdir space and you give a name for example uh, I call it lab 8. Okay, now you type ls. I want to see what is under my directory. I see now I have a lab 8 directory, right? If I want to go into it, I say cd lab 8. Then if I type pwd, you see that now I'm in this directory. Okay, what if I want to go to another directory? I can always just type cd and then the full path. You see that the full path is slash home ee 124 this is my directory right so i want to go to, to this directory i just cd and remember to put the space okay because this is just an argument i enter now i type pwd again right now i'm in that directory and have ls right so if i want to go to lab eight, lab 8 again i can just type lab 8 or i can type home ee 124 lab 8 right now i can also go up one directory go up one level by doing cd space dot dot then it means it will go up one more level right you see that if i type that now i go back to the home directory and uh slash uh ee124 right so it will be good to learn the linux command try to google right as an engineer uh we should be uh very familiar with this okay now that is the first thing about Linux. Now, what I need to do is like what it is said here. I need to copy a direct a fold a file from here, right? So I'm going to type a command called cp copy space. What do I want to copy? I say I want to copy slash apps slash cadence gpdk slash s45. What does it mean? It means that I have a path which is app slash uh, cadence slash gpdk slash 45 and this under this path i have a file called slash 45 i want to copy this one so i say space dot what does it mean copy this file to the current directory okay so i just enter so now if i type ls you see that i have another file called s45 so what is inside s45 you can use different test editor to read it. I hope that you don't try to use test editor instead of like going to the desktop GUI, right? Be professional in some sense, right? So I usually use something called VIM, which is not that user friendly. So uh, I just want to let you know, you, but it is very useful. So uh, like here it shows what is inside, right? So maybe you don't want to use this one. You, I just type shift colon shift colon you see on the bottom i type q right and then enter then you will leave here i will for in order to speed up the process i ask you to use a uh, g edit instead s45 right so i'm going to open s45 in a tooth in a, a file in a program called g edit i press enter
So just now I have a display problem. That is because of my setting. It won't happen to you. So I will continue, right? I say G. Uh, I'm going to type uh, G edit and then S45. And then now you see that it pop up a uh, uh, screen, right? So it's the same, right? I can type anything here. So this is just a regular edi editor, right? So don't change it. I just want you to open to take a look. Now I'm to close it and then just say uh, close without saving. Okay, uh, but actually I need to explain to you what I want you to take a look about. Now, first of all, it has uh, uh, some uh, uh, command that we will not go into detail. Uh, uh, it is like a, a, a comment and then um, we also have some command uh, we also want, don't want to go into details basically it will set up the license so we are using cadence bi uh, uh, binary file uh, their program right so we got the license from them right so it's uh, very good because they're supposed to be very expensive but this is an educational license so we get you know a, a very low price Right, and then we also have. Uh, then we need to source a file which set up the environment. Right, uh, I don't know. Like you play games, you need to set up all the parameter before you're really playing. Right, change the avatar of your of your uh, role. Right, in the RPG. Right, these are the uh, setup. Right, and finally, actually, if you run a file called virtual soul. Virtual Soul is the one that is going to cost better. It's going to do everything for us. So the real program is called Virtual Soul. Okay. So please remember it's not S45. This is just a file we set up so you can do it easily. But in the future, if you go to the company, you want to look for the binary, which is a Virtual Soul. Okay. In order to run the program. Okay. So here I'm going to quit. Right. So I already copied the file. Now, another thing is that I need to set up the library. So let's take a look, see if you have a cds.lib and I believe you don't have and I don't have in this account also. So what I'm going to do is to follow this instruction. I'm going to say cp apps, right, slash apps and then cadence um, gpdk. This is just how we install it. And there is an example of cds.lib. This is the file name we want to copy. Then you space dot. Okay. Now you take a look. Now you do see that now I copy two files cds.lib and s45, right? So I told you that you can use ls to see the list of files. There's something called ll. It will give you more information. For example, right, this one tell you the read and write permission but um, we don't go into detail you can try to uh, learn it right but now I can tell you that here we don't have the right permission even it is under your directory you cannot write it so I'm going to say chmod space which change the mode of the file chmod and then I'm going to say 755 7 will allow me to do read write and execute you can read the file you can write the file you can run the file okay so i just put 755 cds.lib right basically i think you're familiar with more with linux now you have a command space and then based on the type of command you have arguments here the first argument is 755 means the lump the, the attribute you want to change to the file and then which file you want to change it will be the second command after the space okay you just press enter ll again list the file now you do you see that now this one become rwx means i can write it okay and the reason is that we need to open this file and then edit uh the we need to open this file and then edit the path okay so this is the first part for the uh how for the how to set up the linux how uh, about linux